For my family, gotta build a legacy. I'ma be the man when I'm dead. Work too hard, I can't slip up, so I'm clutching tight on this lid. What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment back with another Madden 23. We are back here with our Seattle Seahawks franchise, and we're picking up where we left off here in preseason week number two. And at the end of it, you know, we ended up seeing that we have to improve our rookie, so we'll take a look at what's going on with our first round draft pick cross and we're we'll hopefully you know something good is going out of it but at the last video i want to say thank you all for showing support on it doing pretty well so far and hope you, know, you guys enjoy this series as we get things you know going more and more on the way but like i said we have this improved rookie here and we'll see what we do we took charles cross in the first round thinking he could be a big piece up front for years he's a little raw but we're hoping you could help him out so i guess we're talking to a veteran player here and oh, okay they're talking to gabe jackson so great minds thinking like coach i've been wanting to work with him for the second i heard his name being called at the draft so or during the draft so what should we focus on i mean honestly he's a left tackle so we'll go with pass blocking let's see how much we can improve his ability in pass protection you know exactly how important keeping the quarterback clean is to the su success of this offense wow true we don't really have much of a <laughs> much of a quarterback room back there but uh definitely i can work with him on being more stout and able to defend power moves or help him with defending finesse moves so we're gonna go with power um i don't know how important block finesse is but for him to improve uh, handling bull rushes and power moves we can't have him getting walked back into the pocket and into our quarterback's lap very true very true perfect i get to work with him immediately and how much i can teach him and help him improve all right, well, hopefully he will, you know, end up improving. Charles Cross got plus three to pass block power. We'll gladly take it. Hopefully, you know, it ends up working out for him. But we got the weekly strategy we're going to hop into and just kind of finagle all that. We'll get our goals set right because I don't know why they think we're going to allow under 200 yards. That's This defense is not that good. So, anyway, let's hop into it. Unfortunately, we did get another injury during practice this week. Um, our rookie seventh round pick, Bo Melton, who was showing some pretty good signs in that first preseason game, has a quad strain, so that's not good. Looks like we also have another injury, somebody with turf to um, one of our centers. I don't know if he's one of our starting centers or not, but yeah, not, not what we want to see. Hopefully defensively, you know, we came out of here clean. At the moment, it is looking good so far. And yeah, defensively, we came out clean, so good to see there. All right, upgrade players. Let's see who out here gets an upgrade. Gabe Jackson, one of the guys, well, the guy, not one of the guys, but the guy who was actually handling the business of helping Charles Cross out. So we're going to put something on his pass protection. Why not? Get a little pass pro up there. We'll take it. Moves him up to a 79 overall. Once again, another person we're probably going to end up having to either let go or move or something like that just because you know we'll replace you know, he's up there in age too so he's not going to get much better as the season goes along but he gave a new way we'll go ahead and get you an upgrade all right we got everything squared away so we'll go ahead and hop into this game versus the chicago bears and we'll see you know what we can do here in preseason week two we're gonna do go ahead and put both preseason games in here and then that'll shouldn't be too long of a video i'm probably gonna cut up quite a bit because we're not gonna play much of this I'd probably play the first half of each and once again. So, yeah, let's hop into this game versus the Bears, and I'll catch you guys inside. Let's go. All right, Michael Dixon will get us underway here in preseason game number two, and we will see how we fare as he kicks this one out of the end zone. And the Bears will start on the 25-yard line as Justin Fields and company come to the field, and we'll see what our defense can do. So the Bears come out in shotgun here early on. We'll see, you know, what some of our guys can do. And it'll be a first down pass for Fields. Back to throw. He's going to have a man. We got a flag already on the play. Here's Dante Pettis for a game, about seven or so. Do we have a, a personal foul? We have roughing the pass on the very first play. Somebody it feels like no good and well in real life. They probably ain't getting that call. We all know how they do treat black quarterbacks and just scrambling quarterbacks in general. But yeah. Another shotgun formation pass. Second and eight. Fields under pressure. Al Woods can't get there in time, and Justin Fields gets blown up, but will scramble for the first down. If you're a Bears fan, you definitely don't want to see that. <laughs> Fields getting smacked, but Sidney Jones does make the play, but pocket collapse. Fields able to get out of there. We just missed with Al Woods being able to get there in time, but Al, I don't expect him to be keeping up with somebody like Justin Fields anyway. Yeah, that's true, Charles. They were saying Fields better learn to slide because you definitely don't want your, you know, Quarterback's taking hits like that as Darnell Mooney gets lit up by Sidney Jones this time. 
has the first down grab that'll put the Bears right in the red zone. Down at the 20-yard line for a gain of 20. The Bears are moving on our defense easily. And there we are. Oh, Justin Fields is going to keep it on the keeper, but blown up by Cody Barton in the backfield. The blitz came. It's a good time to run that blitz. Is Barton able to shut it down? And Fields loses two. Second and 12 now. Let's see if our defense can tighten up. They're no longer in the red zone at the moment. And Justin will find a man. David Montgomery breaks the tackle. Jamal Adams has to clean it up, but not before they get a gain of 10 there. And we'll see if our defense can get off the field here on third down. We'll make sure we keep fields in this pocket, though. They are looking to throw. And they'll hand it out to Montgomery. Montgomery's got a hole. He's got a lane to the end zone, but he'll be stopped by Quandre Diggs. But not before he gets all the way down inside. I'm going to say he's at the one, but it looked like he was kind of taking down more at the two. But we first and goal for the Bears, though. Not a good look for our defense to start off here on this opening drive. We're going to come out in goal line formation. Montgomery's still in the backfield. Will they give it to Monty? They will play action it, and it is going to be a sack for Nowusu. Getting in there on Justin Fields. Down he goes, and that is a huge sack. The stuff Nowusu, man. That would have come in there. Came in untouched. Was not fooled by the play action and gets the sack. All right, well, we got Mooney over here in the slot. We got to definitely look at that. We're, you know, we're just going to kind of cheat over there a little bit. They'll hand out to Montgomery again. They know our rush defense has not been good. After that last performance, where Najee Harris just kind of ran all over him and Benny Snell just ran all over us. But they did now bring up a third down and goal here at the three. We got Byron Pringle over here in the slot. Not really being covered by anybody. We'll step up to make sure in case they ran a slant route. And it is Dante Pettis for a touchdown. No pressure, man. We just no pressure from anybody. Still sat in that pocket pretty cleanly. I mean, look at that. Nobody even close. They're coming to get him, and it is a long touchdown drive for the Bears. Once again, our defense, yeah, it's just it's just a struggle boat. It's struggle. We saw some good throws from Locke in that first game versus the Steelers, but, you know, definitely some places where we can get some improvement from. Um, we were trying to run the ball a little bit, and we didn't get much, but we're going to get a decent carry here, but it looks like it's coming back for holding. Not sure who getting this call but we'll see why we're coming back and it's our center Austin Blythe ah. come on Austin a little fan in motion here he's gonna get a good trap block and it's a good way to spring Rashad Penny for a first down run after the holding call we still pick up a first down and we're moving the sticks for the first time today we'll take it great job running Eddie Jackson he's not known for his tackling anyway Justin Fields looks on like what in the world just happened there all right, first and 10, lock on the center. We'll go back to throw for the first time today. He will throw it, and it is intercepted by the Jalen Johnson. Rashad Penny trying to catch him. Oh, oh what in the world was that? <laughs> Tried to dive at him. I, I don't know what Rashad Penny just did, but it's a pick six. And the Bears are already up 13-0 here. He threw it late. He threw it late. Jalen Johnson just absolutely broke on it, picked it off. No offense, we got to fight back for that ball, man. You just can't sit there. That's also part of the reason. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know what in the world happened with Penny trying to die for that and stop John from getting to the end zone. It just looked very, very odd. Lock will throw. Lock will go deep. Looking for his man Metcalf, and DK's got it for the first down grab. Goes up on Jalen Johnson. Gets the first down. Jaquan Brisker saves the touchdown with the tackle. Win was coming in there with some pressure, but a good throw. And we will take it. Good job, Drew Locke, and a hell of a catch by DK. Second seven, Locke back to pass. Looking downfield, not much going on, and Locke will go down. Really was nowhere for him to throw. It's kind of a coverage sack. Pressure kind of got there as well at the same time, but we just had nobody get open for us. Great defense by the Bears, and we go down. All right, third and 19. Let's see if we can at least get back in field goal range. Don't have to get it all here, but we might be able to. We're taking a shot. Tyler Lockett down the field, and Lockett cannot hang on. Looks like it was just on his fingertips, but knocked away by DeAndre Houston Carson, and we just missed it. Oh, man. And yeah, just visiting him still out here. So starters are staying probably for the first half. Real life, they really only play, like, the first drive. 
And because they would put him on a short week, which no clue why the NFL would do that. But Fields looking to take off here. And will he get down this time? No, he will not. I was trying to go with Jamal Adams, but he just kind of ran right by him. But it's another first down run for Justin Fields. And they are just right outside midfield at the 49-yard line. We are struggling. Even when we get coverage, we just don't have, well, yeah, we kind of got some pressure actually right there. Nawusu was starting to get back there, which is the reason he ended up taking off. We just had nobody in the middle of the field. Let's send some heat here. Back to throw. Justin Fields will go down. Cody Barton blows it up for the sack. It'll make it a third and long now. The pressure is able to get there in time. It's one thing. When we have sent pressure so far this season, well, this preseason, let's say, we've been able to find a way to get there. So this could be more of a blitzing season. I know the Bears don't have the best offensive line, so they probably just didn't <laughs> see it or pick it up, period. But I guess we'll see what we can do here on third 13 defense. Don't give this up. They're going deep. Quandre Diggs is going to intercept it. Not a good job by Justin Fields. Was not a smart throw. Dante Pettis also didn't work back for the ball. But we'll take it. Get it all the way out almost near midfield. As Quandre Diggs able to snatch one away from the second year man at Ohio State. Ball's underthrown too. That ball is definitely underthrown. Lock back the pass. Pressure coming off. The edge there. They sent the corner blitz and no offense doesn't go get it. Fant, what happened there? It was a good throw by Lock. Oh man, we got yeah, we, we taking a look at that. What in the world happened with no offense there? We read the pressure off the edge. The throw, he got hit as he threw, but Fant just it, he just alligator armed it. He literally just alligator armed. Oh my goodness. I guess he was scared of the hit. Worried about Jalen Johnson coming in, maybe laying a hat on him, but boy, he just wow. That, that, that's, that's pretty pathetic right there, fan. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty pathetic. All right, Phil. Shotgun again. First and 10. Back to throw Fields. He will hit a man, and he has a... Well, it might be just short. Yeah, it's going to bring up a second and one, though, but not before they pick up yet another big game. They have really had, like, only a couple negative plays so far in this game. And it's just not really going our way. Fields will keep it on the read option there, and he will be tackled by Quandre Diggs on the play, but not before he picks up a first down. He's kind of changed some of the guys out. Um, got Tanner Muse and Joy E.A. Benue in there. We also have our rookie boy Mafe in there as well. We want to kind of get some of these guys some some burn here with some of the ones. Why not get them a look? We took Jamal Adams out. Don't want Jamal being out here too long, so we're taking him up out of here, and we'll see. You know, with some of these. Mixed in guys can do here is, is a handoff. David Montgomery gets blasted on the play. Yet again, Sidney Jones laying the hat. And to bring up a third down and short, can the defense find a way to get off the field and get their first three and out of the day? Actually, no, it won't be a three and out because they already picked up the first down. Excuse me on that. Back to throw. Fields looking to take off. Tanner Muse is there to hunt him down, though, and he will go down. Tanner Muse showing that speed. 90 speed, 90 acceleration. If somebody I really want to see continue to get better bring up a third down and 10 we've been in this situation way too much have not had easy third downs we've been in third and long almost every single drive but here we go let's see what we can do here third down and 10 looking to find a way to find a man open and back to throw his lock can we get some good protection he'll throw it on the run stepping up into the pocket and Eskridge cannot hang on it will be another three and out for the offense it's just been an awful awful day for the offense Second and 10 here. Back to throws Justin again. Looking downfield. They ran this play uh, quite a bit. And Pringle fumbles the football thanks to the big hit of Joel E.A. Benue. And we are able to force the fumble. And we'll be set up at the 45-yard line after the two-minute warning. Let's go. Can we get some protection? And can we just finally move the ball here as Eskridge makes the catch there? We'll pick up a gain of six. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to actually move the ball just a little bit here. Let's see if we can actually get a first down at that, too. Back to throw. Drew Locke looking downfield. He'll have his man. There's Marquis Goodwin on the zig route, able to get the first down grab. And we are moving. Matt Eberflus is not happy. And so far, Drew Locke moving the ball a little bit well right now. Let's see if he can keep that going. Two completions this drive. And back to throw yet again. Lock has a man. It's Freddie Swain on the play. And that'll end up picking up a decent game. Could be a little bit better. But we'll take a gain of seven. And we'll see what we can do here. Second and threes. They have all timeouts. Under a minute left to play here in the first half. 
And it's Eskridge again. Lock yet again getting on a little rhythm here. Drew Lock looking solid. Can he keep it up? Back to throw again for Lock. Looking downfield, has a man, wants Eskridge on the play. He jumps, ball catches it, and it is a touchdown for the Seattle Seahawks. Dwayne Eskridge rowing the boat with the team, and we are on the board here with 30 seconds left remaining here in the first half. A great way to end the first half. Drew Locke, Robert Quinn all in his face, and who the Eskridge Moss right there? Was that Jalen Johnson? It was Jalen Johnson who had the pick six earlier. And we're able to get it right back. Great catch, Dwayne Eskridge. A couple grabs on that drive, and we will cut the lead. Hopefully in half here. Hopefully we don't miss this extra point. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the Bears are content with taking this to halftime. And they are. So, that'll do it for us. And what we're going to end up kind of doing here in this game, we're going to send the rest of the way on this preseason. So, it's just really kind of going to feel back for Madden and just kind of seeing what, you know, what we got working with. And... Defensively, we got a lot of work to do. We did we did get two turnovers though. We'll gladly take that. Love to see that. But yeah, we gotta we got some things we gotta work on. Alright, let's see what we're working with. We end up getting a field goal here. We're in the fourth quarter now. The Bears have yet to do it. Okay, well now they get a field goal. And can we tie it up again? We do tie it again, and I think we're ending in another tie. Did we just end in another tie? Even flu didn't happen. I think we did. <laughs> So two ties to start off the season, 17-17, the final. So really not much. Defense did a pretty good job during the season. They don't give up a field goal. Although defense didn't play that bad. They gave up well, points-wise because one of the touchdowns we got, we threw a pick six. So can't blame that on the defense. But, yeah, I guess we'll take a look at the stats here and see how everything went. But only 189 passing yards for us. But the Bears offense was pretty well for themselves. But both teams threw two interceptions. So Geno came in and threw a pick as well. Yet again, that, that, that staff goal is clearly broke. Like, it it doesn't make any sense. Like, allow 30 points or less. Like, dude, they scored 17. We can't do anything else than that. Like, that, that, that is just broke. Got some upgrades here. Uh, Marquise Blair, Dwayne S. Critchfield. All right, let's take a look at the box score here real quick and see how everything ended up going for us in this game. Drew Locke had 95 yards, a touchdown and an interception. Ooh, it was a rough, rough day for Geno Smith. 106 yards, no touchdowns and a pick. 10 of 21 on the day. It was, I mean, it was rough for both quarterbacks for sure. Don't get me wrong, Drew Locke's rate is not good either, but not all of that was Drew's fault either. Kenneth Walker led the team in rushing yards, and, well, Geno, that's all Geno did was take off. Over the line probably didn't help out, but Walker with 32 on the day. Dwayne Eskridge led the team in receiving. DK had a nice grab down the field. It was a good throw by Locke as well. Disley, 38 yards on three catches. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, we, we just did not have much going on from really anybody there. Fortunately, you know, we had the injury to Bo Melton, so he didn't get to play this week. Um, Defense-wise, Cody Barton leads the team. So, thankfully, this time we didn't have somebody leading the team in tackles that was a, that was a DB. Like, I mean... I, 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 we can't be having DBs always leading us in tackles. So they were two and three this time, but one of them is Jamal Adams as well. But Tanner Mews, uh, they only they did call it okay. They called it for a tackle for a loss. I didn't know they were going to call that a sack or not. But Tanner Mews showing out, you know, a little bit as well. So love to see that. Cody Barton, the team eight tackles. So good job, sack and a half as well. And uh, Nwosu, yeah, I got I ended up getting a sack as well. Who else got a sack on this game? Um, Alton Robinson, so good job. He was part of that half sack with Cody Barton. And interception, who else got the interception? Oh, Jamal Adams got one, so I guess they left him out there for whatever reason. But thankfully, it doesn't look like anybody got hurt. And, yeah. Speak about a strong training camp performance. All right, let's see who, you know, what this is about. Honestly, I don't know much about these, so. All right, let's see. Coach Nwosu. Oh, okay, they're talking about Nwosu. Had a strong camp and has continued to build on that this improve this postseason. So we can go sure tackling the play recognition. Honestly, I wish I knew what his stats was. I mean, we'll go with play. We'll go play right. That's fine. We really have to pry him out of the film room. He's <laughs> if he's not on the field, I guarantee he's watching film and every day he's getting better or getting smarter and smarter. So I know Osu got plus five play rec. So good stuff right there. Okay, not bad. Good job, Nobosu, man. He's definitely we're starting to see him, you know, get after that quarterback quite a bit. I think he's got a couple games with a sack now. And next we have our weekly strategy to get us ready for the Cowboys. And, boy, this could end up brutal. All right, Charles Cross has an upgrade. Love to see that. Agile, that is not going to be something we're focusing on at all. 
Um, I mean, I know it does help. It's supposed to help versus finesse moves, but probably go pass protector because honestly, he's I mean, he's struggling in kind of more in the run game. I guess we could say we probably could have went power, but you know, we'll take it. And he got pass block finesse anyway, so good stuff. All right, preseason game number three, the final of the preseason. And we will hop into this one versus the Dallas Cowboys, who are 0-2 on the year. So, we're 0-2. <laughs> so, let's see if this goes well for us. We'll see what Drew Locke and them can do. And, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, this this could be a rough one. Here we go now, third down and two. We'll see what we can do. Will they give it to Zeke? They will give it to Zeke. Somebody blow it up. Puna Ford is able to blow it up right there. And it will be a three and out. Brings up fourth and inches. Will they go for it, though? They will not. Hopefully, they don't end up doing a fake. But we'll play it safe. And they will get it away. So, Tyler Lockett, once again. I don't know why they have Lockett. We're going to have to fix that. Why he's our pump return, man. But here comes Drew Lock for the first time today. Hopefully, you know, things go well with him as we try and find a way to keep improving. And hopefully, you know, figuring out our offense and trying to find ways to keep moving the sticks and find a way to score. And boy, this middle of the field is looking pretty good as we're going to end up handing this one off to Rashard Penny. And Penny will end up, oh my God, I got blasted right there. Anthony Barr lays the big hit, but it's going to bring up a good gain of eight and brings up second and six. Uh, yeah, second and two. Second and two here. We will give it yet again. Oh boy, here comes Michael Parsons off the edge there. Boy, he was coming in screaming. Thankfully, we're able to at least gain something out of it. It'll bring up a third down and one. Question is, can we find a way to pick this one up? Third and one. Drew Locke's going to keep it. Does Locke have the speed to get to the edge? Yes, he does. Able to beat Anthony Barr to get the first down. And Locke picks up a gain of four to extend the drive. Let's see if we can keep things moving. But the pass is Locke. Looking downfield. And Locke is going down. Is that Michael Parsons blowing it up? It is Michael Parsons kicking Charles Cross's butt. Just, just absolutely blew right by him off that edge. Cross, I'm, oh my goodness, just barely got a hand on him. And Parsons. Oof. And now brings up a second and 18, which is not good, because now the Cowboys are pretty much going to be able to pin their ears back on us. And we'll see if you know, we can try and find a way to pick up some yardage here. And once again, Michael Parsons gets by Charles Cross. Boy, I think it's just too much for Charles Cross to try and defend him. We're going to have to send him some help because he is getting obliterated on that edge third down in 30 now step up we're just gonna get rid of it we don't really have much going for us no offense trying to just get a few yards back he gets a gain of 14 there and we up a fourth down in 17. holy crap parsons once again coming out of the edge dude he is gonna be a problem on this game thankfully we don't have to see him twice a year because parsons each problem. problem is we got Aaron donald we're gonna be seeing twice a year so yeah Back to pass is Dak. Will he go to C.D. Lamb? He's one of his favorite targets here. Dak's actually going to take off here. And Dak doesn't get hit as big. He's able to avoid kind of a big hit. But he will end up getting the first down run. Puts them in our territory inside the 35. Let's see if they give it to Zeke here. They kind of have an opportunity. And they will give it to Zeke here. And Zeke will not really have much run room to run there. He'll only gain a yard. Good job, defense. Second and nine, Dak back to throw here. Pressure coming on Dak, and oh, we kind of screwed up. We clicked on Justin Coleman by, ah, man, we should have let Computer do that. We clicked on him, and we kind of got him off of the CD lane. He may have not been able to jump that route, but he may have prevented it from being able to, oh, my goodness, what is he doing up here? It's preseason, dude. Sit your butt down somewhere, sir. First and ten, Dak hands out to Zeke. Zeke has a good gain of eight, but not before he was blown up right there by Jamal Adams. But it does make it a second and short where they give it back to Zeke. They will give it back to him. Zeke was looking gassed there, but he's not looking gassed getting through the hole as he's into the end zone for the Cowboys for the touchdown. And yet again, we give up the first points. This one on the first drive this time, but yeah, we just, just look rough. First and 10, locked back out here after the touchback, and Rashad Penny has nowhere to go. Leighton Vander Edge blows it up for a loss of three. It's going to be another second down and long, boy. I, well, we are always behind the sticks. Always chasing. Yeah, our offensive line, boy, we, yeah, it's just kind of bad all the way around. Like, it, it's no, no if, ands, or but to it. But, oh, boy, we didn't, we didn't throw it right. Mm, I tried to throw a lob, but I don't really know how that one works yet. Like, the lob passes, 
Right, I think you try and hit that meter, but it only is gonna end up being a bullet. So I don't know how it works just yet, but I bring up third down and 13 now. Thankfully that ball didn't get intercepted, but back to throw is locked, looking downfield. We're gonna hit DK Metcalf. Metcalf trying to make a move, but Anthony Barr not allowing him to get out of the grasp. And it's gonna bring up a fourth down and four, and it'll be another three and out. Third and 10, Dak Prescott once again. Shotgun looking to throw downfield. He will have C.D. Lamb on a slant. Nobody was over there to cover C.D. And it is a big first down for the Cowboys. Puts them at the 44-yard line. And, boy, we are just struggling everywhere. All right, defense. Let's see if we can blow this up at all. We, oh, it's a play action. And Nwosu breaks in there for the sack. Another sack for Nwosu. He's showing he might be a pretty solid pass rusher for us this year. Wouldn't be surprised he leads our team in sacks at all this season. Does not get fooled by the play action. That is one thing. He is not getting fooled. That plus five play play rep definitely coming through there for Nuosu. All right, Drew Locke back out here yet again. He's hoping to have a better drive here. It's been a rough going for him. We're not surprised, though. I mean, Dallas got a pretty solid defense, but hopefully we can get something going here. It's a good timing right. Oh, good one had to come way back, though. Good grief. His momentum. Oh, Anthony Barr goes down for the Cowboys. And oh, what a great throw from Dak. Over the linebacker's heads, and Dak is just, <laughs> he's, he's, he's having, having no issues versus our defense. We don't have much pressure on him, and he's just finding open men left and right. He's eight of eight on the day, showing the efficiency. Third and goal from the six, right before the two minute warning, they will snap it. Dak throws it out of the back of the end zone. Look at that CD Lamb. He may have been able to get that to him for the touchdown, but he throws it away and it'll bring up fourth and goal and they'll settle for the field goal. Thankfully, Puna is an ankle sprain, so I imagine he is dumb for the day, but hopefully he'll be back and ready for week one. And back to throw again is Locke looking downfield. Oh, here comes Michael Parsons again for another sack. Well, Charles Cross is getting whooped over there. It is a rough day for the rookie versus what's turning out to be an elite pass rusher in Parsons. I'm not sure how much the starters are playing. I don't know they're playing here in the third quarter as well. But, yeah, it's not looking good for us. It looks like we're going to take our first loss of the post of the preseason. We don't even score in this game. So, that's pretty bad for us, not scoring in a game. Yeah, that, yeah we can't, can't be having that. Can't be having that. Well, once again, we do uh, don't allow 30 points, and they still somehow manage to screw that up. So that's mad for you. But getting shut out, not a good thing. We'll take a look here at the box score and see how everything went for us here in this one. I mean, we know it was pretty rough, but yeah, it looked like Dak stayed out there a little bit longer. But Geno Smith, 127, and Geno threw another pick. <laughs> uh, Drew Locke sacked four times. Um, we gave us six sacks on the day. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was a struggle out there. Drew almost got sacked as many times as he had completions. Yeah, that's... Whew. Shot Penny leads us in rushing. It looks like... Hmm, I guess our backup, Kenneth Walker, didn't get any carries in this one. Uh, DJ Dallas leads, leads the team in receiving. Boy, it was a bad day for us all the way around. Dallas just must have had the ball most of the day. Let's hit and hop into the final week of preseason, which is just like a bye week. So, and we have to cut 21 players, and we'll go ahead and get this done. And let's see who it's time to go and get off this Seattle Seahawks team. And yeah, we'll go ahead and get Brittany on too. I mean, he, he's, he's 86 speed, he's not there's not much we can do with that. <laughs> but yeah, that's all we have to do here. We're gonna go ahead and advance into week number one where we will pick up next time everybody is we got quite a bit that we're gonna have to end up getting done here before we hop into the very first game of the season the monday nighter where russell wilson returns to seattle after being dealt in the off season so we got, it looks like we got quite a bit we got to get done we got opening day keys game plan elite qb for russell wilson camp standout and stuff like that so and we got the draft class stuff we got to go through as well and scout so definitely looking forward getting into that you guys i want to say thank you all very much for watching the video if you guys have enjoyed it make sure you guys hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts here on the seattle seahawks franchise so far and what you guys are interested in checking out here on the channel if you guys are new here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the seattle seahawks franchise and more that we're posting on the channel have f122 my 10 career series going playlist link to that is in the description if you're interested also have mlb the show 22 going as well we got the toronto blue jays franchise if you're interested in that 
playlist link in the description to that as well as we are in the playoffs getting ready for the alcs that will be starting up here coming up soon but once again you guys thank you all for watching i'm out the next time i hope you guys stay safe out there catch you guys in the next one god bless and peace close it out future and it's the love from my fans got me still here